Christmas is a season of nostalgia. And who isn't nostalgic about this? I mean, for sheer lack of taste, abysmal sense of style, and utter tone deafness to just about anything, there is just no matching Melania Trump. All of which begs the question, when is Melania Trump going to return to the White House? Or actually, is Melania going to return to the White House? We all know Melania and Donald have a sham marriage. Not that it made any difference to the Megan morons that Melania had to be paid to campaign. I'm going to talk about Trump's response to Melania's role in the White House for Trump 2.0, which Trump discussed in a long-ranging interview with Time magazine. Time is going to name Trump Person of the Year for 2024 in honor of his ability to avoid prosecution, stay out of jail, and lie incessantly, constantly, and continually on the campaign trail. Trump lied about Haitians eating pets. He lied about ending the war in Ukraine within 24 hours after being elected. Uh, yeah. No. He lied about the price of groceries going up and how he's going to lower them. Oh, P.S. No, he's not. He just admitted to that. He lied about the border. He lied about autism. And of course, everyone's favorite, he lied about children going to school and getting gender reassignment surgery without parental consent. And that particular lie was repeated on the campaign trail. Obviously, some brilliant pollster discovered that transgender people was a new hot group for MAGA Nation to hate on. So, of course, Time Magazine has to reward and elevate that behavior because there's simply no other choice that is going to get the kind of clicks and media attention as Don the Con. To compensate for what they recognize as an incredibly offensive choice, Time issued a list of corrections to the lies that Trump made, as if that's supposed to make everything okay now. I noticed that the gender reassignment surgery at school lie was not among those items that received correction. Another item not on the list was Trump's lie about Melania living at the White House this time around. Just the fact that the media is asking the question tells you everything you need to know about Trump, his marriage, his candidacy, and his plans as president. Pretend, obfuscate, lie, and grift. And Trump's not the only one with that plan. Melania just recently went on Fox and Friends to hawk her Christmas gifts collection. Watch this. They are very special. For example, uh, Lady Liberty. Mm -hmm. uh, it was um, inspiration from my necklace that I bought when I was modeling in Paris. And uh, now we have an ornament and we have also a necklace that it's available on MelaniaTrump.com. Beautiful. So I also this one, it's the necklace um, and That's inspiration. Uh, the flower. These correct. are awesome. These and are they're very pre patriotic this year. You gotta hand it to Melania just when you think no one can be as big a grifter as Don the Con. Up pops Melania with another product to hawk. And you also have to give her props for continuing her legacy of bad taste and absolutely no sense of style. So of course Melania is gonna pop into the White House whenever there's a chance for her to make more money. But is she going to live there at any other time? Listen to what Trump has to say. Oh, yes, Trump said before praising his wife's role in his 2024 campaign, despite her sparse appearances on the trail. She was, she was very, she actually became very active towards the end, as you saw with interviews. And she does, she does them well. People really watch. Yeah, that's not really an answer to the question. So he gave a more direct response. She'll be active when she needs to be, when she needs to be. Yeah, like I said, whenever she needs to make more money. But Time Magazine even asking the question just goes to show how desperate the media is to sane wash what is coming down the pike. The idea that anyone even cares about whether Trump and Melania are a real couple when everyone knows they are not shows how ridiculous the whole process is. Certainly, MAGA Nation is going to support Trump, even if he divorces Melania. And just as certainly, no one else cares. It's all part of a sane washing and distraction process 
meant to gloss over a harsh fact that nobody, not Hispanic men, not white women, not Catholics, not even evangelicals, are as responsible for Trump getting elected as the mainstream media is. They are the ones that insisted throughout the entire process that the campaign was legitimate. It wasn't. From January 6th on, Trump was an insurrectionist who should have been prohibited from running for office, and the media let that fact go. They paid more attention to Hunter Biden's laptop. They paid more attention to Hunter Biden's pardon than they ever did the legitimacy of Trump's campaign. And the irony is no one, but no one is going to mourn for the mainstream media when the fascist they helped elect shuts them down. Least of all me. I'm Anthony Vincent Gallo for Occupy Democrats.